The World Health Organization now changes the definition of herd immunity, saying immunity comes solely from vaccines. World Health Organization WHO changed the definition of herd immunity, eradicating the pre-COVID consensus that it could be achieved by allowing the virus to spread through a population and declaring that herd immunity solely comes from vaccines. This is very strange. The change happened on the WHO's website in a section entitled Coronavirus Disease, COVID-19, Serology, Antibodies, and Immunity. The original WHO definition archived says that herd immunity, quote, happens when a population is immune either through vaccination or immunity developed through previous infection. This means that even people who have not been infected or in whom an infection has not triggered an immune response, they are protected because people around them who are immune can act as buffers between them and an infected person. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The YouTube-centered material will be on my Patreon account, at least five videos every day, different from what I have on YouTube. You'll find the link in the description box below. Thank you for your support. Summit News reports, the original definition fails to identify the pre-COVID consensus on what is meant by herd immunity, which is when a population becomes protected against a virus because enough people have been infected with it to create community immunity. However, the WHO's updated version is even more extreme, insisting that herd immunity can only be achieved by mass vaccination programs. Quote, herd immunity, also known as population immunity, is a concept used for vaccination in which a population can be protected from a certain virus if a threshold of vaccination is reached, states the WHO website, and it adds, herd immunity is achieved by protecting people from a virus, not by exposing them to it. Herd immunity exists when a high percentage of the population is vaccinated, states the website, completely omitting the original meaning of herd immunity which is when a population becomes immune to a virus by being exposed to it. Now, by changing the definition of herd immunity, the World Health Organization is literally rewriting hundreds of years of scientific understanding as to what the term truly means in an apparent effort to silence any argument that herd immunity would have been a better approach to fighting COVID-19 than lockdowns and social distancing. This is by Neam Harris on News Punch. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I wish you all a very, very blessed, joyous, healthy and prosperous Christmas and New Year.